This one is kind of scary. It's almost like technology is slowly taking over. Exacord or 1.5 is the first artificial intelligence that writes music. Let's take a look. Hello everyone, welcome back to Mixbest TV. Hope you're having a great day. Before we start, check the info box down below for my mixing courses, special discounts and deals on plugins, including the one we are looking at today, Exacord Orb 1.5, the first artificial intelligence for music creation. Like I said in the intro, this one is kind of scary. With Orb 1.5, you really have to do very little to create a complete piece of music, even classical and orchestral music. Actually, this software, in my opinion, is more suited to that composition for scores, classical creation, and for orchestrating simple melodies, because that's one function this software has. You can import a simple melody and have it orchestrated automatically. Don't have to do anything but setting. We will see the density, the intensity, uh, draw the curves of how do you want this piece of music to move and evolve. Exacord sent me this one because the version 1.5 has a lot of improvements compared to the previous version. Here you can see the interface. If you are a composer, you have knowledge of scales and chords and you maybe write music for classical, orchestral or movies, this plugin can definitely speed up your workflow. But if you're not a composer, you're not classically trained, you cannot read music at all. You can still create impressive piece of music with this software with just few clicks. Now, the software is very intuitive and easy to use, but it's also very deep. So it has so many sub menus and options for voicing, for scales, to change the progressions. So I'm not going to do a full tutorial on it. Uh, actually, Exacord has some really nice tutorials if you want to go in details. So I'm just going to show you uh, a new project and how easy it is to come up with a new piece of music. So I'm pressing new. And as you can see, when you open the project, you have several templates, orchestral, strings, piano, electro, pop rock, and ambient. All right, so what I'm gonna try to do now is to come up with a complete piece of music from scratch, just spin and dropping blocks and modifying. At first, I will use the stock sounds from Orb, and then later we'll change the sounds with good virtual instruments so you can hear the difference and the complete piece of music. Let's do it. Okay, so I will start with an orchestral template. So I don't have to select all my instrument. It comes with a full orchestra already in the instrument section. The first thing that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select my BPM, I'm gonna do 62, and then a key, let's do a C major. The time signature, let's do 64. Now I'm going to drag and drop my blocks. Actually, I'm gonna select first the intro, the blocks, the theme, a transition, a melodic end, and an end. Okay, now I click on the second icon. Here I can select the number of bars and the phrases. So for the intro, I'm just gonna do a standard. And for the theme, I'm gonna keep it at eight. I'm gonna do question and answer. The transition, I'm gonna be four, standard. And you can see it changes the length of the, on the, of the phrase of the block for, for the melodic ending and the end is fine. Now here, I'm gonna select my chord progression. So let's try cinematic and fantastical. We have different, different cadences. So I'm just gonna keep it simple. I'm just gonna import this for the transition melodic ending and ending. And you can see that the AI already wrote music and by changing any of the parameters here, you will rewrite automatically the composition. Let's hear how this sound. Let's start by changing the intensity. This is gonna be for the theme 
I want the transition to do this and the ending like this as well. And let's see the density here. Let's up a little bit this one. Okay, for this transition, I want less density and also less intensity. Let me check the space too. Let's go down. Let's pick it from the theme. Not bad for a few seconds and few clicks and not having to write one single MIDI note. Now I'm gonna change the stock sounds with good virtual instruments and we'll hear the final result. Now that is pretty impressive, especially if you think that I didn't have to play or write a single MIDI note. So let me show you some functions, some headlights, some new features of version 0.1. Hexachord has excellent tutorials on their site if you wanna dig in. As you saw when I was composing this piece, uh, I started here by selecting the blocks items and then assigning uh, the, the phrase and the number of bars. But you can do it in another way. You can drag and drop whatever and click on it, click on the new block and assign number of bars, question and answer, the type of phrase that you want. Then you have the chords here. Now, before you saw me selecting my progression from the select mood tab from the chord progression tab, but you can do it directly from the block. You can change single chords, you can change all of them. And then uh, another cool function is here at the top, we have these buttons, create instruments and notes for all blocks creating chords for all blocks or notes for all blocks or everything for all blocks. So basically you can select your uh, key, your tempo, your time signature. And if you click any of these four buttons, the AI will rewrite everything by itself. And then you can modify it to your taste, to what you need, to how you want this piece of music to be. Uh, time signature, again, you can change it uh, individually on, e on each block. And then we have the curves. This is a new and improved section of 1.5. We saw the density here and you see that every time that I move one parameter, right? You can see it here in the editor. Uh, the AI rewrite everything, okay? Same for intensity. You saw me drawing the curve and every time you change something, it will rewrite. Deformation, same thing. So every time you touch a parameter here, the AI will write in real time. And of course you can go into each and every single clip and assign what you want this specific clip and the specific instruments to do. For example, you want it to be a melody, a motif, arpeggio, chords, bass. You can change octave, articulation. There's so many functions if you wanna go in depth with this one. It's easy to use as you saw if you don't have any classical training, but if you are a composer, this will speed up your workflow. Everything is one click away, it's very intuitive. And of course, for each clip, you can open up the MIDI editor Okay, and treat it as treat the MIDI as you would in any other any other DAW. You can change velocity, sustain, uh, timing, everything uh, just as you would with any other DAW out there. And let me show you another function Orb 1.5 has that it can be really useful for pop music, for modern music, which is the quick import. So I'm just gonna open a new project. I'm just gonna do orchestral again. So we'll load a bunch of instrument with no notes, no anything. And I'm just gonna quick import a MIDI melody that I have. Once I imported it, you already see Orb already orchestrated that.
you can see the possibility this uh, software offers. I'm not a composer, but I wanted to make you guys aware of this. Exacord sent me this software to test. I think it can be used for arrangements, for, of course, music composition, for scores, for movies, and for pop and rock music. I haven't tried the pop and rock music uh, templates, but again, even if you have just a simple piano melody or a guitar melody or something like that, this can quickly give you so many ideas, even just to arrange any piece of music on top of doing full orchestrations if you work with that kind of genre that I thought was worth showing you. In the end, this is at the time of this video, the most advanced artificial intelligence that actually writes music. You just have to give it directions of what you want and your keys, your time, and basically it writes music for you. So I think this is it. Let me know what you think. Is artificial intelligence going to replace songwriters? I don't know, is this a first step towards it? Maybe, or maybe we will just integrate software like this in, in our workflow, which could actually lead to interesting results. Anyway, I hope this video was useful. I hope you liked it. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like. Link to Orb Composer in the info box along with some other cool stuff. Leave your comments down below. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time.